Hello everyone, this is the preset pack. I thought this would be a good way to not only release it for the students that have already purchased our course, but I wanted to make this accessible to those that want to help and support the channel. And there's some really good tools in here, and I hope that you find some value in it. So I just wanted to show you what is in the pack currently. This is April 2023. I plan on adding to this because this is my literal tools that I use. This is my thing that I add every single day once I learn new things. I just try and make presets out of them. So if you want to help support the channel, here's an easy way to do that. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing that we're going to talk about is the fonts. I did some of my favorite creators. I did Alex Ramosi, Linus Tech Tips, Ludwig, MKBHD, and Mr. Beast. So let's go ahead and put on a text layer. Here we go, testing. And then all you do is, so I have now made this layer. You just drag and drop this on your effects control panel or on the layer itself, either or. I'm going to go ahead and do this. So that brings up Alex Ramosi. I'm going to go ahead and delete the text. And now we have our Alex Ramosi text. So you can type anything and it's going to be in that same font. And of course, this is available in Adobe Fonts with the, there you go, Monster at Black. And we also have that included in your purchase if you decide to do so. All right, next one, we have the same stuff, but it is a little bit bigger. It's at 85. Those are two go-to things that I use in just YouTube editing or with some clients' projects. I just have that ready to go. Go ahead and delete that. And let's go ahead and pull up Linus Tech Tips. Drop that on there. This is Novacento Sans Wide. And you can see all of the settings in the effects controls. And I just pretty much eyeballed what they use, but this is also found in Adobe Fonts for download. Just go ahead and pull it up. Novacento Sans Wide. Mm -hmm. There it is. So you can get that. Go on to the next one. We have Ludwig. This is one of the only fonts that is included with all Adobe products. It is Calbury. And it has Ludwig's nice prominent stuff. I think, I think it's kind of a cool style with a font that you might be f familiar with. Good stuff. All right, for the next one, we have MKBHD. Go ahead and drop this on there. Go ahead and get rid of Ludwig. Very nice, clean. This is DIN 2014. And of course, you can download that in Adobe Fonts as well. Good, clean stuff from Marquise Brownlee. And for the last font, I have Mr. Beast, the classic Comica Axis font. This is a free font I got from font.com. This should be very familiar to you but this is also included in your purchase, something that you can download for free. All right, going on to the next one. So let's go ahead and make, I'm gonna use the Alex Ramosi stuff for the rest of these. All right, we have reverse stretch out. So these next few sets of the, the reverse stretch, the pop in, pop out, stretch length, stretch width, skew, rotate, and jam fam style. This was commented on our Discord server. And we have a lot of animations of our text coming in, but we don't have them coming out. So with the Finzar presets that you're probably familiar with that are free, uh, we have all of these options. But I wanted to make sure that we also had the option to take the text out. So let's go ahead and demonstrate one of those. So if we had our, our Finzar, let's do reverse stretch. So this starts at the end point, at the beginning, and we'll do reverse stretch out. And it just like it says, so in your effects controls, you can see where the keyframes are created. We have our transform stretch out, which is at the end, the out, and then we have the transform reverse stretch in. It's at the end point. So we can see all these keyframes acting. So here we go. Here's the in, and there's the out. Good stuff. So we have all of those effects, same exact ones on each of those. So I made the outs, Finzar made the ins, and those are included with our preset pack. All right, let's go ahead and skip ahead. I'm sure you'll get the gist on all those. All right. All right, we have slide up, slide down, and we have the ins and outs and left and right. So this is, you know, pretty much basic stuff, but they're really clean. I like them a lot. I use them a lot. And with all of these transform effects, you can put them on images, you can put them on videos, or if you rotoscoped yourself with like a green screen, you can use it as well. So what they do is they throw something up, down, left, right. I have all those options. 
So we have a slide up in, so it's sliding up, and we have a slide up out. Go ahead and put that on there. Slide now. And those are repeated with all of these. All right, let's go ahead. So we have all those options, and we have bouncing advertisement. So it's exactly what it is. It is a keyframe transform effect, and we're going to see our text bounce. I'm going to drag that on my layer. You can see the keyframes. Boom, 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 boom. Give you some ideas there. We have double dribble. This is kind of the same. You can use these on, as I said, PNGs, videos, and text layers. So we have double dribble. Here's a fast version. We'll do it on the text layer. Boom, boom. There it is. And then we'll go ahead and do a, the smoother version. It's just kind of slowed down, more methodical. Boom, boom. Nice and clean stuff. All right. And then, as I said, of course, let me go ahead and throw this on the actual video layer. There you go. Give you some ideas. You have some flexibility with this stuff. Moving on to quick zoom, more, more of the same. We can do this. I usually put these on video layers. Uh, as I'm chopping up a clip, if I need to kind of make a cut, instead of making a hard cut to something that's scaled, I'm adding some animation and some movement to it. So we have this nice little zoom in. So now that I zoomed in on this specific clip, I'm going to do a zoom out on the next one. So I'm zoomed in, and now I'm zooming out. There you go. All right, let's go ahead and take those off. Okay. And then we have zoom in and outs for one second, two second, three seconds. Pretty much what they say. So more of the same, but I wanted to have time limits, so I'm not having to adjust the keyframe so much. Uh, we have these times. So just kind of keep in mind on your timeline, oh, do I have a clip that's two seconds or two or three seconds? I can throw one of these on there. Zoom in and out. And these are all smooth ones. So I'll just do, let's do the zoom in for three seconds on this one. So if I zoom in for three seconds, it's a nice, slow zoom in. And if we look at the keyframes, it stops here. But you can always take that last keyframe and extend it to the end or however long your clip is. All right, let me go ahead and take that off. And then we have a zoom out bounce. This one is pretty goofy, but I have it as an option. Just if you want to kind of, it's almost jarring, but you can put them on, on a text layer or a video layer. It's a nice little bounce, almost like a ball going down the stairs. Okay, and I'll go ahead and put that on our text layer as well. Boom. <laughs> Very subtle. Okay. And then we have Blur and Darken. I use this, not kidding. I use most of these every single day, but almost every single project I use Blur and Darken. So let me go ahead and give you an example. So right now, this particular footage is in 9x16. I'm going to go ahead and drop in a 16x9 version of this clip. Okay, so we have this version of the clip. So if I scale it down, you can see that it's shot in 16x9. So if I wanted to have this play, instead, I would have the background. So let me go ahead and line up these backgrounds. So I would take the layer that is under, and I'd extend this out. So, so it's all going to match up with my video. And then I would use this blur and darken effect on this layer. So if I just drag and drop it on there, now it's blurred and it's darkened. A lot of people don't know. There you go. I use that all the time. Very useful because it's done. It's nice Gaussian blur and with Lumetri color just scaled down uh, the exposure and made a nice blur on the background. And you compound that with some drop shadows. So say that I use these on emojis, but I can put it in this case. So on this top layer, I can do a drop shadow and we're going to make an outline to make this part of the video pop out. Let's go ahead and throw in some emojis. All right, so if I open up an emoji, let's go ahead and just use this angry guy right here. Drop that on. And with our presets, we have some drop shadow presets. So I can just drop this on my emoji. Bada boom. And it's coming from both directions. If you're familiar with some of our tutorials, we actually made this. So it is something that I use all the time. So we have this version, which is black, and we have a white version. There you go. Same deal. Coming from two different angles. And then we have a drop shadow version that's softer. It's white. Just easy presets for you to use. We have an emoji fast spinning. What I usually do is scale this down. Let's do like 50. And then on here's the fast version. 
spin in a circle. Cool stuff. And then we have a slow version. <laughs> nice and methodical. All right. Next one, we have Lucy Goosey. This can be on video layers. This can go on text, images, just like most of these. Let's go ahead and put it on this emoji. And we'll see him nice and distorted, almost like a flag waving. And we put it on this text layer. You'll see what I mean. There it is. Okay. Moving on, we have the rainbow effect. So this is one of the few that has a setup. This one, we make our fill color of our text red. And I learned this from Finzar. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful preset to have in your repertoire. And for the preset, I made it last about a little over one second. So as you can see, the keyframe is ending here. So as the rainbow progresses, it's going to end there. And now we're locked on this color. If you need it to play longer, I would just take this little keyframe and drag it to however long you need it. And that is going to make the rotations complete. So there you go. Cool stuff there. So in my course, I included animated emojis. You can get them on YouTube for free, which is what I did from this YouTuber. I'll have the link down in the, in the description if you want to just go ahead and make those yourself. Uh, I have it included, but I'm going to go ahead and pull those up. And this is what this next effect will do. All right, I'm going to drop in this cowboy. All right. So here we just have this remove green screen. And we're just going to drop it on this layer. And there goes our green screen. And what I would compound with this is probably a drop shadow. And I'm going to go ahead and drop that. But when I place this drop shadow, I want to make sure I have the effects control open. I'm going to drop it under my ultra key or the green screen effect that I just put on the layer. So now it is outlining the actual emoji. If you put it above, it's going to outline the whole image. So you, now we have this box. We don't want that. We want to move this preset below the ultra key. So we got one more. Boom. There you go. All right. So that is there. And then we have tilt. This, is a, this might be a familiar preset to you because we also made it in our Alex Hermosi uh, tutorials. So this one's super easy. This is kind of like a last minute if you need to make tilts instead of doing it uh, with individual text layers. I just have a preset like, oh, I want all of these to go left. There you go. It's a nice little subtle way. Or I want all of these to go right. And to finish off is our Ali Abdal smooth pan with the images and the Ali Abdal stop motion for the text layers. Very powerful stuff here. So let me go ahead and show you an example. So for the smooth pan effect, this is images that I saw within Ali Abdal's style. And we went ahead and mimicked that in our micro content course. You can check out this section if you're a student. So here's how we will set the scene. It was an image with a shutter sound happening, going to another image and another image. And the smooth pan will add an animation to the image. So I think it was a really clean style and I wanted to kind of add that to this preset pack. So let's go ahead and drop this on here. So let's see what this first one does. It's a nice slide. So as the shutter goes to the next one, we're going to add our effect. So let's go ahead and add it to these two. And then that will complete the smooth pans on all of these. So here should be the final result. And put this in full. Go ahead and render this out. There you go. Nice stuff. And then if you ever need to move the effect or have it pro prolong for however long your graphic is, of course, you can take the last keyframe or any of the keyframes and move them around as well. All right. So for the stop motion for text layer. So this was an absolute rabbit hole. I made it really easy for y'all. So I hope y'all appreciate it. <laughs> Without going into After Effects, this is possible within Premiere Pro. We're utilizing two effects. One is posterized time and the other is turbulent displays. All right, so I have my text layer and I'm going to go ahead and drop it on my text layer. And you'll see the effects, posterize time. It's at seven frames and we have turbulent displays. And right now you can see that the rotation is off screen. So if I actually drag this out, we can now find the keyframe. But if you have text layers that, are, that need to have the animation go on longer, like with these other examples, just make sure you go into your fetch controls and move the keyframes accordingly. All right, let's go ahead and close this up. And a tip that'll give you when you're using this effect is to render out 
the specific section or whatever layer set you're using because the effect will probably not work once you put it on there. You have to render it out because it is like it's a very harsh effect for the program to use. So if I go ahead and play it, you can kind of see it, but I want to go ahead and render this out. So I'm going to make a selection here with I and O. And then go ahead and render this out. And there's our stop motion text. I like it a lot. I think it's a very powerful thing to use. And with this example, I'm going to extend my last keyframe. So I'm going to drag across these and extend it out to the end of my graphic. So I can have that animation play the whole time. Go ahead and re-export and render this sequence. And there it is. Nice stuff. Hope you guys like using it. And then lastly, this is from our friend Ivan Khan over at Revamp Media. Uh, without going into After Effects, we can make the text glow. All we have to do is grab our layer, go ahead and make a duplicate. I'm doing Alt Drag. And on this top layer, we're going to drop our effect on. And then here, we can already see the effect in action. What is happening is we have a Gaussian blur. We mess around with the blurriness, and then we drop the opacity. So it's a nice effect, kind of stands out from the original Hermosi style, and it's good stuff, good stuff to use. So that concludes the preset pack right now in April 2023. So I hope you guys like it. It's a great way to support the channel. We appreciate you all very much, and I will talk to you very soon. Thanks.